Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game. Moto Racer 4. So, these are the workarounds which you can do to reduce lag and stutter and increase FPS of the game Moto Racer 4. So, first of all, change the video settings of the game to low is the first step. Just go to the options of your game and in video settings change everything to low including the player detail level, environment quality, resolution, advanced graphics, reflections, everything to low. Once you've changed everything to low, it will surely work without lag. But if you are a user who don't like to play games in low graphics, just try the other four workarounds. Download a game booster. Downloading a game booster is a very efficient way of reducing lag and increasing the FPS of the game as it puts maximum of your PC RAM in running a particular game. So just download a game booster and the game booster which I recommend you is Razer Cortex Game Booster. Just go to www.razerzone.com slash cortex and here click on this download now and you can download the Razer Cortex software from here. Once it's downloaded just install it and once you have installed it just run your game through this application or with we can say software you can run this game through this software and your game will be boosted and more your game will surely work without lag and with more fps number three change the priority of the game to high to change the priority of anything to high just go to a task manager and for example i want to put the priority of notepad to high so i will just right click on it and go to its details and here right click on it and set priority to high so you have to do the same with the game Moto Racer 4 number 4 delete temporary files it is also an important thing to reduce the lag for temporary purpose from temporary time just search for run and in run type temp and press enter here delete all the files I have already deleted them there will be many files in this folder, just delete all of them and it will not affect your PC at all. Then click on run again and this time type percentage sign TMP and then again percentage sign. I have also deleted all the files here. You have you also have to delete this all the files present here and make this folder empty. You have to empty this folder from time to time in every one or two days to make your games run without lag. So this is how to delete your temporary files. These are of no use so you can delete it without worrying about anything. Number 5. Update your drivers. Updating your drivers is an important thing which you should do to reduce lagging of your games and work, make them run without any stutter. So here's how you can update your drivers. Just go to your PC, right click on its properties and go to its device manager. And this device manager, here are all your drivers. For example, display adapters, you can just go to it and right click and update driver software from here. So, if one by one, you can manually download all the updates for your drivers. But if you are too lazy to download them manually, there's another way to download the drivers automatically. Just go to uniblue.com uniblue.com slash product slash pc slash driver scanner and click on download now once you have downloaded this software install it and once you have installed it just run this software it will scan for all the updates available for your drivers and update all the drivers just by one click so once you have downloaded all the drivers update of all the drivers restart your pc and try running the game it will surely show some improvement and the lag will be reduced so thank you for watching this video if this works for you please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day